Welcome to my video review of the Sunvision Cyclone Mini PC dongle. This is a very simple concept. You have a computer on a stick which plugs into a HDMI port, be it on a monitor or a TV. You have a complete, fully working computer. Just a quick look at the pack contents. You have a small starter guide here, the PC itself. You'll notice a small leaflet here with a caution on it that's because the exterior of the cyclone can get warm it can get a bit hotter under pressure if you're doing an intensive task um, but it acts as a heat sink for the computer chips inside to keep them cool we have an extender for the HDMI and this is a 5 volt 2 amp power adapter with a micro USB connector at the end Looking closer at the mini PC, you'll notice we have an antenna on this. This is for the Wi-Fi, and this is flexible, you can rotate that around. Here we have a micro USB socket, and this is a micro SD card. I have a card in here, it will take up to 128 gigabytes of capacity. Looking at the other side now, we have a normal USB port micro USB this is marked for the power input so make sure you put the adapter into this side and we have a button here to turn on and off the computer just looking at the basic specs we have 2 gigabyte of RAM that's built onto the processor chip itself up to 1.83 gigahertz quad core atom processor we have Bluetooth built in and 32 gigabytes of storage and Wi-Fi is also built in what I'm going to do is just upgrade it straight to Windows 10. Um, there's no obvious advantage to sticking to Windows 8.1 at the moment. You might as well just go straight ahead and upgrade that whilst you can. Just boot the PC up now after the upgrade and we're on Windows 10 32-bit and you'll see here we have about 18 and a half gigabytes of storage space left. So that's not too bad if you're careful. Add your micro SD card and you can boost up the storage if you're watching what you install you should be able to run the PC no problems with that but any big files obviously you want to put them on a USB stick hard drive or onto that micro SD card I'm just running a performance benchmark now this is Passmark I've used it on a few computers and laptops just to give me a rough idea of performance don't get too hung up on this it's just um, it does give you a, a broad picture of how it stacks up compared to other computers and processors so we'll let that finish and we'll come back to that and see how that stacks up the final score came up as 984 just shy of a thousand so that compares reasonably well with desktop processors dual core ones from about sort of three four years ago so the technology has picked up quite a bit you can't expect it to compete with dedicated multi-core desktop processors because they're obviously going to have a lot more power and they consume a lot more power as well so if you're a high performance user that's the way to go you're not going to match that at the minute with the current technology but um, as far as normal usage for most people you'll probably be quite happy with this for browsing around watching videos doing some documents and playing the odd game at more reasonable settings what I'm doing now is just testing the HD playback we're in YouTube at full HD 180p and no problems at all with playback at all it's smooth frame rates are excellent so you're not going to have any problems playing back video on this it's more than able to deal with that side of things There is a bit of weight to the stick, but I've not had any problems at all. It's not so heavy, it's going to put strain on the HDMI port, but you can always use the HDMI extender cable that's provided in case you're worried about that. Really, they're quite deep ports, and I've never had a problem with one with pressure put on it, and this isn't too heavy enough to actually cause a problem in that way. I'll just show you what I've done here. I've plugged the cyclone into the back of a monitor. Um, because I'm into a monitor without sound, I've added a USB gaming headset here, so I have sound and a microphone. On this side, there's a nano dongle for a wireless keyboard 
it's one of these ones here with a touch pad so I can use that through the one particular port this model of USB hub has an Ethernet connection so if you need a wide connection that's a possibility as well now if you're looking to add an audio out you want a wired connection of three and a half millimeter it's quite easy to just add one to the USB hub that I have here so that hub is really going to come into its own if you're doing extra things you need that additional connections that will give me the microphone and the stereo output here you can see it coming out the headphones So depending on what you're doing, you can expand the computer out. That hub is pretty important if you're going to do that. If you're just going to be using it for streaming um, and you don't need the additional ports, USB ports, you're not connecting other devices to it, then you're probably just fine as it is out of the box. But um, anything bigger than that, I'd say definitely invest in some kind of a USB hub. Just open the task manager just to see the CPU. I have it in the threaded view here, you can see the four cores. Um, memory wise, without doing too much, Windows 10 runs pretty well on a system with this amount of RAM. You can see I'm using just under a gig of RAM, so I've got about 50% left. A bit of that's going to be used for the graphics because they're onboard graphics. Summing up on the Cyclone Mini PC dongle, a few areas that I liked. The performance was quite good, it's not going to be as strong as a desktop computer but it's not too far off of an entry level laptop. I liked the built in Wi-Fi antenna here which improved the signal and the speeds were quite good for a wireless connection. The build of the unit has a bit of weight but it feels quite nicely made. The main limitations of the device are the connections. You have just a single USB and a single micro USB though do take into account you have Bluetooth which can help you for streaming audio or attaching keyboards and mice and things like that. There's one thing that I would suggest that they include in the pack is one of these which they don't. This is one of my own. It's a USB on the go cable and it converts the micro USB into a normal USB port so that would give you two ports straight away. So I'd like to see that perhaps included. I have a few myself. You sometimes get them with tablets and phones. Over time we'll probably see improvements to the processor more storage and quicker storage speeds and graphics but as it is right now you have a fully functioning computer in a very small form factor that means you can take it with you you can use it as a spare backup PC you can turn any television or monitor into a computer all you have to do is connect a keyboard and mouse and I think on that front it's a winner yes it costs more than some of the casting dongles on the other hand it does an awful lot more as well it's a complete computer and you can use it as such there are no real limitations to it if you can use it on your desktop or laptop then you can use it on this and I think that's the strongest point of products like this so I think it's a really good move for the industry to go into these devices and over time they're only going to get better